house shall be called a house of prayer. I want to ask you a question. If Jesus walked into your church, what would he do? Matthew 21 verse 12 and 13 and Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them it is written my house shall be called the house of prayer but ye have made it a den of thieves the house of God is a house of prayer. In this passage of scripture, Jesus met people buying and selling in his house. Jesus was expecting to see people learning the word of God in this temple, people congregating together and praying. Jesus was expecting to see teachers of the law teaching the people about the law of God, but that's not what he saw. We in churches need to embrace that the house of God is a house of prayer, not of rock music, not of selling and buying, but of prayer. Please notice this. Jesus is the judge of the world. He said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Notice he didn't say a house of preaching. Notice he did not say a house of singing. Yes, we are supposed to do these things in church, but principally, God's house should be a house of prayer. Leonard Ravenhill once said, if you want to know how popular the preacher is in church, attend the church on Sunday morning. But if you want to see how popular God is in a church, attend Friday prayer meeting. This is a call for us to open our eyes. The house of God is a place of prayer. We have been called to pray together as believers. We have not been called to buy and sell in the house of God. We have been called to fellowship as one in the body of Christ. We have not been called to be thieves in the house of God. Have you ever wondered why the Bible says judgment will start in the house of God? Have you ever wondered why the punishments of those who know the will of God and refuse to do it will be more than those who don't know at all? 1 Peter 4 verse 17 For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Knowing the will of God and not doing it is worse. Luke 12 verse 47 and 48 And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. Have you ever noticed that the church started when people were praying and not when someone was preaching. We cannot separate Christianity and prayer. Acts 2 verse 1 to 4 And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. The house of God is a place you are supposed to go to hear the truth and pray. In a church where prayer is absent, the power of God is absent. In a church where they have sidelined prayer, 
the presence of God has left there. I will tell you the truth, the Spirit of God will never fall in a place where prayer is not there. The Spirit will not fall in a place where prayer has been reduced to nothing. When the followers of Jesus were in upper room, they were not playing. These people were not selling and buying. They were not cracking jokes just to pass the time. They did not go to the upper room for a fashion show, but they went there to pray fervently. They prayed and continued praying until the Spirit of God came down. Acts 1 verse 14, These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. They knew the Spirit will not come to a place of entertainment, but a place of prayer. They did not stop praying. Until effective prayers are being prayed in many houses called the house of God, there will never be genuine testimonies. The house of God is a place of prayer. We have not been gathered to gossip. We have not been gathered to mock people. We have not been gathered to socialize. We have not been gathered to bring something to sell. The house of God is a house of prayer. If you forget about prayer and all you do is entertain, you are sending the Spirit of God out. If the place you call the house of God is not helping your prayer life, you need to move. You need to find a place you will grow. The most important thing is prayer. How can you call yourself a Christian and you cannot pray? How can you say you go to a place called the house of God and you cannot pray in one accord? You need to open your eyes. Many Christians cannot go to churches that don't entertain them. They have turned churches into a place of fun and have forgotten about prayer. They cannot bear the truth. If a pastor tells them the truth, they tag them as an old school pastor. If a pastor preaches on repentance, they are tagged as an old school pastor. The house of God is not there to entertain you and allow you to wallow in your sin. So many churches are entertaining people straight to eternal darkness, where they will experience nothing but weeping and gnashing of teeth for all eternity. We need to allow the house of God to go back to its original state, to its original order, and that is a house of prayer. Jesus is calling out to us today. Jesus is telling everyone to change. Jesus wants to restore the church to its original state. Jesus wants the truth to be spoken in the house of God. Enough of the gossip in the house of God. You may think this message is only about the church building. It is also about your heart. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? The temple that Jesus wants you to clear first is your heart. Have you allowed strangers in your heart that God does not allow? Have you allowed lust to come in and trade in your life? You need to clear them now. Your heart is a place of prayer. Your life is a place of prayer. The Bible says you must pray without ceasing. God is a God who answers prayers. Do you know how wonderful it is to receive an answer to your prayer? To know that the most powerful being in all of the universe listened to me and answered my prayer. God still answers prayers. God still hears his people and speaks to them. This is the time 
we as the body of Christ need to go back to the place of prayer for us to commune with God and for us to have a relationship with him we need to pray find time to be alone with the Lord even if it is when you are driving to work pray to God in your car talk to him before you go into that exam talk to him before you have a big day talk to your Savior